Oh, man, there are just some stories out there that uh, take you by surprise. This one being from the Fortnite scene that's seen a lot over the past week. Some stuff we have not covered, some stuff we have. A lot going on this weekend with FNCS still ongoing, guys. And yes, as we await the grand finals for FNCS with tons of prize money on the line, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and many pros going for their chunk of that, it's unfortunate for one trio out there, as now the entire team has been barred from the event, has been disqualified for what one one member said on Twitter, that being a Fortnite pro member of this trio known as Wrigley, who took to Twitter to tell the CCO Epic Games, that being Donald Mustard, Mustard, who a lot of pros like to tweet about or tweet at to say literally, go kill yourself. And this apparently violating rule 8.1.2 of being respectful of other players, event admins, spectators, and or sponsors, dictating users were the other two teammates alongside Wrigley. And luckily those two will be allowed to compete in the next FNCS, but still lose out on a chunk of nearly $700,000 in prize pools. I mean, if you guys can imagine as teenagers, losing out on a chance at something this big because of what a teammate said something you are not directly tied to whatsoever you got to imagine how much that would suck as they did tweet out the specific rules saying they actually can compete the next one saying as a result of the violations listed above your entire team is disqualified from the chapter 2 season 5 fncs event and you will all forfeit any potential prizes that being said the violation of your teammate will not count against your own competitive record and you may continue to play within future competitive fortnite events without penalty that also meaning the guaranteed several hundred dollars they would have gotten for you know being here in the first place has also been forfeited and you can also just see on their twitter feeds of course why they are so upset this one is an unfortunate circumstance i think the punishment is justified for that individual player that being wrigley if you have the it's an idiot move. It is so incredibly stupid. We have seen plenty, plenty of pro players out there and streamers and figures in the Fortnite space make jokes about Donald Mustard and tweet at Donald Mustard or tweet about the game of competitive Fortnite sucking or saying some things that are pretty edgy. But this one, if you are much of an idiot to actually tell the CCO to kill himself, you deserve a punishment. There, there's no other way around this. Now, do his teammates deserve the same punishment? That's the giant lingering question. I brought this up on Twitter. Curious what you guys think as well. If you want to think about a similar circumstance, ongoing also this weekend is the VCT Masters for Valorant. Unfortunately, this past week, some accusations now being alleged against Sinatra, who is a member of Sentinels, who have qualified for that Masters event. They were granted an emergency sub. They went through all the qualifiers throughout the challenger stage to make masters with Sinatra in the lineup. All of a sudden accusations surfaced, some very severe ones. They are granted a sub. We'll be playing with tens instead of Sinatra. The entire team was not disqualified. A similar form of qualification. Yes, a bit different from Fortnite, FNCS uh, to VCT masters, but a trio who all qualified together. All of a sudden, one of those members did something very, very wrong, but the entire team is facing the punishment. Yes, one punishment deserved. Is the entire team deserving of a punishment? I don't think so. And that really does suck for the remainder of these kids. As you see users say, I'm actually going to cry, bro. Literally, I put so much time into this game, grinding my arse off. Got some crap like this to happen. I'm just done. I don't know anymore, bro. Dictates taking several times to Twitter saying he's not going to eat for a week, asking Donald for child support. And he also just played this whole season for zero dollars. Oh my effing God. So it's another instance that, you know, it, it just, I, I, I know I say it every single time. You got a younger audience. You got a younger pro field out there. Who's got to learn what you can and cannot do. And you cannot tell one of the people at the developers of your game you compete in to kill themselves. It, it's just that simple. And I think pretty much everyone out there knows it. Apparently he did not and has now been punished. Unfortunately, so, so is the entire team being disqualified from this weekend's grand finals of FNCS. What do you guys think? Until next time, take a sip for me. I'll catch you guys back here all week as the crazy news, it does continue. Until then, take care.